Welcome back. Well, NLC India, that's the next company on our radar. They reported a good growth actually for the past quarter. 22% growth in lignite production in the first quarter. Even coal production was up by close to around 35%. Odd. Mr. Prasanna Kumar Motupalia, the chairman and managing director of NLC India, joins us on the show. Hi, sir. Good morning and good to see you. When I went through your release, you're quite happy with regard to the performance that you've delivered. And you'll have also highlighted the stock move, you know, in the past quarter, which is good news. And your shareholders will want to know what's the guidance from year on. So let's get a couple of basic numbers out of the way. What's the lignite production target as well as the coal production target for the entire fiscal? It's been a fantastic start with a 20 to 35 percent growth. What do you end the year with in terms of an absolute number? Uh, good morning. Uh, as you rightly said, quarter one is uh, an outstanding quarter for the NLC India. Uh, there is an all-round uh, improvement in the performance over the last uh, uh, financial year. Uh, our coal production improved by 35 percent, uh, lignite production by 22 percent, power generation by 10 percent. And uh, uh, this is mainly because of whatever constraints were there last year for uh, uh, lignite production, coal production. Those things have been uh, addressed. That is the reason why this uh, performance in the quarter uh, one is excellent. And uh, our coal production target for the year we set at 16 million metric ton uh, compared to 12.5 million metric ton last financial year. So uh, with the production levels we achieved in the quarter one, we are hopeful that we will be achieving the more than the uh, targeted uh, production of uh, 16 million metric ton. And our lignite uh, uh, production target is uh, 24 million metric ton. And uh, uh, seeing the production levels in the quarter one, we will be able to maintain the uh, production target which we set for lignite production. Similarly, for the uh, there is a substantial improvement in the uh, performance of the thermal power stations also, and uh, our product our generation levels improved by 10 percent. So we are hopeful to achieve the target of uh, 32, uh, 32 to 35 billion unit in the coming financial year, next financial year. Okay, all right. So the uh, the we've got the coal at 16. Lignite at 24 and the power generation will be what for the year? I missed that number and out of the total power generation, I see I think renewable is close to around 10% approximately. You can correct me on that number. And how do you see the renewable part of that business shaping up? Exactly. What you, what you said is right. It's, uh, last year, our uh, generation was a 25 billion unit. Out of that, around 10% uh, is uh, from renewables. Uh, this year, we are targeting for uh, 35 billion units. Uh, out of that, around 10% uh, uh, would be from renewables. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, how can you tell us about any upcoming projects or expansion that you plan in NS NLC's power generation capabilities over the next, say, one to two years? What are we looking at? Uh, our uh, Gattampur Dharmal Power Station, which is having 3 into 660 megawatts, all the activities have been completed. One unit uh, already, we oil synchronization is done, and it is on the verge of uh, uh, declaring the commercial operation. We are expecting that uh, uh, in the month of uh, July. Similarly, the uh, unit number two also we are expecting by October, and uh, unit number three by March. So, in the current financial year, the entire capacity of three into six sixty megawatt. The commercial operation will be declared and it will start uh, generation uh, commercially. Uh, in addition to that, uh, our uh, uh, Pachawara South Coal Block, which is uh, uh, 9 million metric ton, that is also expected to start its uh, uh, production in the current financial year. Our Tarabira Dharmal Power Station, uh, the 3 into 800 megawatt, which was uh, um, uh, the foundation stone was laid by Honorable Prime Minister in the month of February. All the activities are in uh, fast progress and uh, the geotechnical activities are going on. So we are hopeful that we will be uh, progressing and uh, commissioning the project within the time schedule committed. Okay. All right. What about the renewable capacity, sir? What is the current capacity and where is that number headed? And I think last time we were briefly discussing about some value unlocking in that space. When does that happen? Uh, as on date, we are having 1.4 gigawatt of uh, renewable capacity, um, okay. both uh, solar as well as wind. And uh, we are targeting uh, to increase this uh, four, four times uh, by 2030. So already actions are in, in pipeline and already we are having uh, two gigawatt of renewable capacity in pipeline, both solar and wind. 
uh, 600 megawatt in uh, Gujarat, um, 800 megawatt in uh, Rajasthan, and 50 megawatt wind in uh, Gujarat, and also an another 300 megawatt in the state of Gujarat. Uh, we are targeting to uh, become a six gigawatt uh, renewable uh, power capacity company by 2030. And as you rightly said, uh, for uh, asset monetization of uh, uh, renewable assets, we formed a hundred percent owned subsidiary, uh, NLP India Renewable Energy Limited. And uh, we are in the process of transferring this assets of 1.4 gigawatt to uh, that subsidiary. Then subsequently, it will be monetized. When will it be monetized? Some part of this year, sir? Uh, by the end of this year, given uh, that you have these ambitious plans to take it from 1.5 uh, gigawatt to 6 uh, gigawatts. So, sometime in 24, 25, do we see some kind of value unlocking? Uh, maybe in the last quarter of this current financial year or the first quarter of the next financial year that will be considered. Will you look at an IP or will you look at diluting some stake? Yes, 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 yes. Which one, sir? Will it be an IPO? Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Okay, IPO expected by qu quarter four of FY25. Got that. Uh, you know, just for the company on the whole, what's the guidance for the coming fiscal? I think you were guiding for around 15,000 crores of revenues and margins in the vicinity of mid 30%. Is that correct? Exactly. That is and fi final question before we let you go then, the regulated equity is I think at around 9,000 crores uh, odd. And you were looking to take that regulated equity to around, I think, 23, 24,000 crores by 2030. But in the near term, that's in FI25, FI26, what does the regulated equity move to from around this 9,000 crores? See, our uh, Gattampur Dharma Power Station, which is uh, going to be commissioned in the current uh, financial year, uh, with that, our regulated equity move from uh, this 9,000 crores to around 12,000 crores. And uh, going forward uh, with the addition, for, uh, further addition of uh, mines and the uh, and power generation capacity. Finally, we are targeting uh, 23,500 23, crores regulated equity by 2030. Okay, <clears throat> we'll, <clears throat> we'll leave it there. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Great speaking with you and appreciate you joining us here, sir. Good luck. Uh, that's NLC India with uh, perspective. Now, you know.